Hey guys, welcome to a bit of a different video. Today we're going to be looking at the Foot Champions Weekend League um, rewards that I received. I think Gold 3 is actually better than Gold 2. I'll tell you in a minute, but um, yeah, let's have a look at these rewards that we did get. So I'm just going to show you the actual... Um, so I, I tend to get like 20 wins. I, I have a few games remaining. I could have easily got to 20 wins, but uh, yeah, both weeks I've got to Gold 3. Problem is with this week... I got three, maybe even four disconnects um, on EA's half. That like, wasn't my issue. I think about at least 500 other people had the issue at the same time. Maybe even more. Like, that's all I know, essentially. Um, a lot of people disconnected. And if I didn't get those disconnects, I could have very easily got into Gold 2. But if you actually look at the rewards for Gold 2, they kind of work. So looking at the packs that we did get, they are pretty decent. Like, the, the two mega packs, they help in terms of consumables, for sure. You get at least, like... 10 contracts in there um, which tend to help over the next few weeks as you do like play quite a few games we have actually got an inform here from Fiorentina Kalinic really nice 85 shooting not too sure what he goes for but an inform's an inform it's actually my first inform actually no sorry it's my second inform I um, got someone else also Aaron Ramsey that's a decent pack John Stones Musa Dembele Osama Dembele sorry I don't know why I call him Musa but yeah Osama Dembele definitely wanted to use him and um I don't think he goes for too much, but surprisingly, for a player that has really good stats, um, yeah, he doesn't really go for that much. So looking at Ramsey's price, he's he's not too expensive. Like I was expecting him to be like 10, 15k for a very good Premier League centre midfielder. He doesn't really go for much. Looking at uh, Kalinic, the main player in this pack, he probably goes for around around 20k, which is not bad. Maybe 15, 20k. Um, but yeah, I think he's a really nice card. I think he's a bit more of a target man kind of player. Six foot two, high high work crates. Might give him a go in a Serie A team, to be honest. Next pack, then we do get Insigne, which is not bad. Eighty nine pace. I don't think he goes for too much. There's, the thing is with these players, I just like him for squad builder challenges mainly. Like this, this guy here actually might go for a little bit. Eighty pace, silver centre back. But yeah, I tend to get like three or four squad fitnesses in these mega packs, which do kind of help. So going into the final pack, then. 50k pack, I believe this is. 12 uh, players. We have got another inform. CDM Inzonzi from Sevilla. I'm not too sure if he is a walkout. I don't think he is. Um, it would be nice if they added walkouts to the game in terms of an inform that gets like five or six informs. Um, yeah, that would be kind of cool. We also get Jean Mario, Lovren, Asensio, um, Navas, Debushi. These aren't too good at the end. But Balassi is quite decent. He's a five star skiller, of course. And Danny Ings at the end. But yeah. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this quick video. Didn't realise this guy's a gold. I'm not too sure if he's still owned by Chelsea. Um, but yeah, he'd be quite a good one at the end of the year. So I'm probably going to finish off the video here. Obviously the two informs. Not bad at all for saying that you played 40 games. You get a couple of informs. That's quite decent. Obviously when you get into the elite classes. I think you do get a team of the week pack. Which look really good. And um, what I'm doing is actually saving up my coins. Because the one player I really want more than anyone is uh, Dybala. So... Hopefully by selling these two players, um, I might have enough just about to get him. And that would be really good because he is by far the best player on the game for like under a million coins. Of course, there's Ronaldo and Messi. But um, in my opinion, Dybala, absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I'm probably going to sell these two on, get my coins and uh, pick up a Dybala and just win every game. Because I kind of struggled because my teams are literally like 20, 30k teams. And I'm playing in like Div 4 and um, obviously the Weekend League with teams that have barely any good players in. Like, the the most expensive player I got in my squad, I think it was Benega, and I paid, like, 4.5k for him, and that was at the start of the game. It's kind of crazy how much of a budget I've put myself on, but I haven't actually spent a single pound of FIFA points this year. So, for saying I have, paid, I have played 200 games, but I feel like I've actually enjoyed this year's FIFA, whereas in the past, I've really not liked Ultimate Team after spending all that money... And then getting fuck all and then just hating it. This year, there's no pressure. There's no like, oh, I've spent all that money. I have to do it. I can just play it whenever I want. But yeah, going to end off the video here. Obviously, these two informs, not bad at all. I might give them a go in a game or two. Maybe even a squad build. I'm not too sure. But make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And see you soon. Bye.